okay today we are going to study about the plant and animal cell differences all the living organisms they are made up of cells and cells are the structural and functional unit of life so although that animal and plant cells they are eukaryotes in nature but still there are so many differences between both type of cells if you see these two type of cells can you distinguish which type of cell is which after the completion of this topic you will definitely be able to understand and identify which top uh, which type of cell is which okay let's dive into the topic here i have drawn two type of cells for your convenience i'm going to label that this is plant cell and this is animal cell but how come i know that this is a plant cell and this is an animal cell let's do it okay first of all the first difference between both type of cells is cell wall in the case of plant cell the cell wall is present but in animal cells the cell wall is absent here in the red color line this is cell wall so here i can write that this is uh, sorry this is plant cell and this is animal cell so in the plant cell cell wall is present but animal cell it is absent so this is the first difference between both type of cells from which i will understand or i will identify okay this cell is plant and this cell is animal the other very important difference is the shape if you can see this plant has a very defined or definite shape while in the case of animal cell this is somewhat irregular in shape so this is another difference that we can use to identify which type of cell is which so the plants have defined shape or definite shape while animal cells have irregular shape okay the next difference is the presence of nucleus this here is nucleus and in animal cell here is nucleus you can clearly see the position of nucleus is different in both type of cells in case of plant cell the nucleus is present at the side of the cell but in animal cell the nucleus is present in the middle part of the cell which is another identification part for the plant and animals then comes the other organelle cell, uh, cell organelle which is present only in animal which is known as centriole this part here is known as centrioles which in case of plant cell is absent similarly in animal cells we have so many vesicles here in the purple these are lysozymes these are present in animal cells but in case of plant cell we cannot see any lysozyme present in this case but in plant cell we have this green color cell organelle which is known as chloroplast the chloroplast is green in color and present only in plant cell while in animal cells it is absent okay so for your information i can write it down here that the nucleus at site while here in middle lysozyme in plant cell absent in animal cell okay it is present and similarly centrioles in an plant cell absent in animal cell it is present and lysozyme in plant cell absent in animal cells they are present so these are differences along with this the other difference is this big part here and the same part here is very small this part is known as vacuole yeah. 
in plant cell there is one big vacuole present inside the plant cell while in animal cells there are many small vacuoles present in animal cell which is another identification feature which you can use to identify so in plant cell just one and big while in animal cells many but they are very small along with this the outer boundary in plant cell is cell wall but the outer boundary in animal is cell membrane in plant cell cell membrane is actually the second layer okay so here we can write down that cell membrane in plant cell is second layer but in animal cell it is first layer so these are the basic differences which we can use to identify which cell is plant and which cell is animal cell as you can see after these differences we can clearly find out okay this cell has a defined shape it must be plant cell it is irregular in shape it must be animal cell there is a vacuole here big one and here nucleus is at the side so it must be plant cell but in case of animal cell okay the nucleus is present in the middle part and there are so many small vacuoles so it must be the animal cell so this is the basic or these are the basic differences which you can use to identify the cells along with this there are so many other things which are common between both type of cells for example they both have cytoplasm here this part is cytoplasm and uh, they have mitochondria here this is also mitochondria is present I can level this for you and um, they also have endoplasmic reticulum which in this case is also present here they also have goldy bodies in this case they are also present here in the purple part here so i hope that now this is clear to you that which are the differences between plant and animal cell and if you are given some unknown cell without any labeling and you are asked to identify between the cells you can easily identify on these structural basis which is i have labeled here so if you have any other question you can ask me in the comment section and if you like my video please give it a big thumbs up and if you need resources related to this topic or unlabeled cell diagrams or labels diagrams even the worksheets you can visit the link below in the description thank you very much